Coming up on Daytime, an artistic child prodigy. I have been inspired by so many artists, Jackson Pollock, Linda Cooney, I mean, Da Vinci. Plus, we're talking medical hot topics with our panel of doctors. And the issue right now is we're still trying to figure out what is exact dosing, and just like we just previously mentioned, what is the correct formulation of these vitamin supplements? Right. Hi there, welcome to Daytime. I'm Cindy Edwards. We are starting the show today with an extraordinary girl with extraordinary talent. At only 11 years old, Autumn DeForest has been painting most of her life. Her works are collected around the world and sell for up to $25,000. Autumn's work is currently being featured in galleries in Safety Harbor and Sarasota, Florida. Her art exhibition is titled Child Prodigy, a diverse collection of artwork by Autumn DeForest. And Autumn, welcome to daytime. Good to have Hello. you here. You've accomplished so much and Thank you're only you. 11. Thank you. So how old were you when you started to paint? I was in my late fives when I started to paint. Late fives, I see. Yes. And uh, were you painting or were you just using the crayons or were you using chalk? Well, I was using a lot of different tools. I used palette knives with texture. I used brushes. I used like these plastic pan plants that you'd get at Michael's and I'd, you know, whip the painting and it, and it would give a fantastic <laughs> technique. So I would use a lot of different tools. So obviously your parents gave you the tools and then you d just started to play with them, is this right? Well, yes, I mean, it, it's, it all comes from me. I, lo I love painting and they provide me with, with tools and canvases and, and they're, they're great supporters and I, and, I, and I love this. Well, obviously you love this. I've been watching you on, on video and uh, you're an amazing talent. Let's talk about this painting in particular here. What do you call this? This is called Dripping Oranges. I, I mean, I, I've been to different uh, galleries. I mean, Stone Harbor, Dallas, I, and and I'm just very honored to be here. And 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 I did this painting especially for Florida. Yes, you did. And uh, do you expect is is this finished now, or is it almost complete? Well, I am I am going to finish it here. Oh, good. But the the oranges that are there for right now uh -huh. are symbolize the the bounty and, and all the gr grapefruit that's in Florida and, and the the tree symbolizes us which uh -huh. receives the fruit and the golden drip symbolizes the the sunshine and the rain that that nurtures the oranges. Oh my goodness now who are your art heroes are, are there any in particular <laughs> that you really like to, to to paint like yes i mean there i've been inspired by so many artists jackson pollock Willem de kooning i mean da vinci Leon, uh, leonardo um Leon, leonardo da vinci michelangelo i mean there are so there are so many there are andy warhol he's one of my favorites <laughs> how would you describe your style are you a contemporary artist or do you just dabble in all Oh, oh, I love them all. I mean, they're they're all so different. But I I love you know I love how this this technique d has that vibe and this one has this and and I just love doing it all. And it just comes from just when you're driving down the road and you look out the window. <laughs> do you see inspiration everywhere you look? You know what that that what that was actually a painting of mine that it's called beep beep yeah. <laughs> uh, I was driving in the car with my mother in Denver. Mm -hmm. And beep, beep, yeah, from the Beatles was on the radio, and I saw a car drive by, and I had I happened to have a camera in my hand, and I shot it, and it was just I mean, it was just a car, silver little car driving by, and it was, but it had so much power, and so it, it almost meaning that I painted it, and it was raining, so did you sell that painting? Yes, I did. Of course you did. <laughs> now, you've made some money painting, right? Well, yes. You know what? I'm not the money girl. I don't price the paintings, but all I know is I'm very honored to be in the position I am right now, and I love to paint. 
Is there an adult trapped inside your body? You're a very <laughs> mature young lady. Thank you. What are you doing with the money? What do you want to do eventually with your career and with your life? Well, I, I'm certainly saving it up for You must have college. a very large biggie, piggy bank. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, I mean, I, I am saving it up for college, and I, and I love learning. I'm a 100% bookworm. Yeah, what are your other interests apart from art? <laughs> well, I mean, look, I'm, I'm a freak about Star Wars, Star Wars posters everywhere. I do archery, horseback riding. Writing. I mean, I, I do a lot of things. And if you weren't going to be, do you think you'll be a professional painter one day? Do you think that'll be your career? Well, I mean, yes, the, this, <laughs> is, this is what I love. Obviously, it is what you love, and you're very, very good at it. And we're going to check back a little later in the show to find out how this is completed, all right? Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations on all your success. Thank you. We can say we met her when. Autumn DeForest. Lindsay, over to you. Welcome back, everyone. Time now to check back with the amazing artist, Autumn DeForest, to see how her painting turned out. And look at this. Can you believe this, Lindsay? It is remarkable. Thank remarkable. you. Remarkable. And what did you call this again? Dripping oranges. And how long did this take from start to finish? Ooh, it took about a month. Okay. So, yeah. And how do you come up with these ideas? Anywhere I get my inspiration from artists to, to, to ordinary things like like crayons and Barbies. And are you already thinking of the next painting? I, in fact, I actually was. I'm serious, I was. Good stuff. Well, Good I have a feeling you. this will be sold really, <laughs> really good. I'm sure there's somebody out there right now watching who's saying, that's going up on my wall. And they will pay a lot of money for that. Thank you. Way to go, Autumn. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. All right, everybody, on the next day time. I talked to the youngest race car driver at just 14 years old. It's all about the prodigies. Wow, yeah, he doesn't <laughs> even have his driver's license yet. Plus, artist Jason Hullfish talks about painting extravagant rooms on the HGTV show Posh Talk. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye.